I'm gonna use this one to make the middle archaic point for this project. I'm gonna make a Benton point, kind of a large stemmed point. Most likely an atlatl point, I would say. Thrown spear point, dart point, rather than a arrowhead, of course, or a, probably also a knife sometimes, you know?
quartz crystal. Observing all the energy of those strikes there. I need to try and just get through that, blow through that. Off to the side a little. Cleaned it up okay, but it bit in pretty far.
think we might be down to the pressure flaking stage now. That was exactly 20 minutes of a little bit of direct percussion, a little bit of indirect. No pressure yet. This spot's a little messed up. I'm going to need pressure to clean this up. Get the final shape, get a nice pressure flaking pattern before it gets too small. I think it's thin enough. I'll be able to get the thickness regular anyways, a little more regular, but it's not bad. Need to clean up some step fractures there and there, there. I can do that with pressure. Keep this cool color in the stone. A little bit of that too. There's a lot of variation in the stone. I want to try and keep it all or as much as I can. So I'll make a big, a large Benton point. This is probably eight centimeters long. We'll see what the final dimensions are. I'll do some of the pressure flaking on camera. Maybe I'll I don't know, it takes forever to do the pressure flaking, but I'll at least do the notching on camera this time. Need to fix my pressure flaker up anyways, so maybe I'll do a small video on making a pressure flaker. We'll see. This is what it looks like right now. Time for the pressure flaking stage. Try and get everything nice and regular, balanced. Get a decent, somewhat decent pressure flaking pattern in there. Archaeologically, I think they were mostly, mostly a random pressure flaking pattern. Maybe there was a little bit of continuous platforms at least. 